Uh, and uh, allow me to introduce a good friend of mine, Mr. Carl Loop, uh, who is a motivational speaker, and he is a business coach and a life transformer. Right, Carl? Right, right. Transformational did, leadership. Yeah. Did I miss anything else? <laughs> no, that's great. <laughs> uh, so, Carl, um, so tell the people a little bit more about you, man. You know, what are you about? How did you get into this work? Like, you know, what? Tell, tell me more about you. Oh, yeah. My story is... Uh, Real quick, it's um, you know I had a I had a very successful first thirty or forty years of my life. I've had six businesses that I started. Mm-hmm. Uh, I grew up inside of an entrepreneurial family. Uh, my family split. My mom is remarried, and uh, her husband had a nice large business, and my dad had a nice business. So I grew up right inside of a heating and air conditioning, home remodeling, and building business on, on nice. both sides. So nice. entrepreneurship is all around me, and in my blood. I, my first business really was. Uh, building birdhouses when I was about seven years old, and I started building those and selling those, and then, you know, paper routes and photography businesses and so forth. It just kept on growing and building. Uh, I moved down to Texas about 15 years ago from Virginia, and my goal when I moved down here was two. I had two goals when I moved down mm-hmm. here. One was to have, well, one was not to honk. Uh, while I was driving my car at everybody. Okay. Okay. You know, to have more patience. Okay. You know, so you were not a patient guy. I wasn't a very patient person. I okay. was always kind of agitated, frustrated, stressed. And, uh, you know, my, I helped put my, my wife through uh, medical school. It was, and we have two children. So it was just overwhelm oh, nice. all the time. Agitation and overwhelm all the time. So uh, we moved down to Texas about 15 years ago so that she could finish her residency of her medical career. And uh, those were one of my two goal, one of my two goals was not to honk my horn, like while I was out in traffic, just being frustrated and honking, and it was like such a release for me, and it was crazy. It was I was goofy about honking my horn, so that was one goal. And my- Texans make you honk their <laughs> horn. Actually, I think correct. I think Houstonians make you honk your horn. Hmm. They're very yeah. I don't think uh, Houstonians are great drivers. But that's just me, you know. <clears throat> well, I'm just but- letting you know, like uh, kind of the <laughs> kind of the world I was in at the time, because uh, this leads to uh, some points for me, but. The second, mm-hmm. the second goal I had was uh, that I could have one happy thought a day. Okay, interesting. Okay, I was I was very, uh, you know, glass half empty all the time. Mm-hmm. Things aren't happening good enough. I was highly successful but miserable. Mm. Okay, I was truly miserable in in my life in terms of uh, living my fullest life. Most most, you know, I had I had the the financial success. I had the zeros. I had the commas, but I didn't really have a lot of inner fulfillment. Right. Okay, so those were my two goals. I moved down to Texas. So, just to jump right to the point, to the mm-hmm. end, to the end point, uh, when I moved here, then I went through uh, a divorce, unfortunately, and it was a very messy divorce. And then custody battles, which was also a very uh, messy deal. And then uh, Hurricane Ike hit my house all mm-hmm. within six months wow. time after I moved here. Yeah, in two thousand and six, seven. So. Um, you know, it really, it really created a crash for me. This is my story, right? And yeah. It created a crash for me that had me reflect to uh, redesign and reevaluate and renew my life because I was at the lowest point I had ever been. Mm. And so I started the journey for, to more of the inner right. understanding, the transformational view of the world instead of just transactional, instead of everything being, you know, about the numbers and the game of the numbers and the... the the possessions you can own instead of just just you know counting my possessions I started working on my transformations so I've been here now almost 15 years in Houston I've honked my horn three times <laughs> that's not bad hey that's an improvement <laughs> that's not an improvement. That used to be a daily thing so yeah I, you know I've honked my horn about three times once was from right. agitation and I was really irritated by somebody the other two times were, were for emergency reasons but uh, you know I've made a ton of progress and uh, now I am out to create in the world my transformational leadership that helps others. In fact, my vision is I'm creating peace, power, and prosperity by accelerating high achievers to significant success and wholehearted fulfillment, which is what you see up there on the screen. That's my I love passport. it, man. So yeah, uh, so that's your passport. Yeah, I just pulled up your website over here, and uh, so I'm, I'm glad you you actually just uh, hit on that. Um, awesome. So so. Passport. Tell me more about that. Why passport? Well, you know, as humans, uh, we all are moving somewhere. So you, you, know, need, the, you, need, you need permission the, the to go somewhere. The earth is moving. Okay. It's spinning. We're gotcha. moving. We're always like some sort of motion is happening. Now, sometimes it's, it's motion that, uh, 
that goes out and comes back, right? Uh, that's how change is, right? Change looks like you step out of your comfort zone and then you come back. It's kind of a rubber band thing, right? You step out of your comfort zone and then you come back. You step out and you come back. And this is what transformation looks like too. Now transformation is like you kind of go to a new idea, you go to another place, you're not so comfortable, you come back to what you're comfortable with or you're more familiar. But transformation looks like this. You step out and then you step to a new place. Oh, wow. Interesting. You know, instead of the rubber band pulling you back to what you, the pattern that you become, the automatic pattern that you become. So you propel forward. Basically. You've gone forward. And now this passport is what I do with people to help them see that place they're going and give them a passport to get there. A it's permission an, to it's be. It's an I am statement. Yeah. yeah. It's like their vision. I love it. Yeah. I love it. That's Thank you. awesome. Thank you.